Well, a couple of things happened. Um, one, when I was at UCLA, I had, I had an interaction one afternoon with Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt used to come down and play in the, in the pickup games at the men's gym at UCLA. And the men's gym had been built in like the 1920s at UCLA. It was a pretty old place, but all the, all the great players in LA would show up every day or there for pickup games. And Wilt would come down and play. And one day, he sees me running up and down the court, you know, like 10 steps behind everybody. And he pulls me aside and he said, why are you doing that? Like, that's not your job. Like, park your rear end underneath the basket, stop players from getting them, from getting there, make them miss their shots, collect the rebound, throw it up to the guard, let them go the other end and score it, and your job is to kind of cruise up to half court and see what's going on. And I'm like, I could do that. Um, but it was a real kind of light bulb moment for me because I finally figured out what my role was out on the floor. You know, being in Springfield and, and being here at the Hall of Fame, and, you know, you look up at all the, the faces up there of, of Hall of Famers and... You know, you, some guys you've played with, and you mentioned us, Stockton and Malone, and, and Coach Sloan, and, and people that you've played against. Um, just, just describe what it what it means like to to be, you know, surrounded by them, to have been a part of the sport for so long, and, and kind of see all these faces of, of people you've grown up played against, all that. Um, it's it's very humbling because uh, all these guys um, not only you know created and enhanced and improved the game that became a big part of my life. And, and even though I didn't necessarily start out that way, it was, it was something that really um, took, took my whole life to a whole nother level. And so I'm, I'm a great admirer and I love the history of the NBA and I've had the great fortune to meet a lot of the players, even going back to George Mikan and Earl Lloyd and guys like that that uh, were the pioneers of the game. Um, you know, over the years being around the game, I've had a chance to to meet and hang out with all of them, whether it's Dr. J or Charles, whoever it might be. And so I, I'm just, you know, uh, in awe every time I come here and I walk around and, and Jason and I were walking around upstairs for a little while beforehand and just, it's like, oh man, this guy and that guy. Like I see Tex Winter who recruited me in junior college when he was at Long Beach State and, and he became, you know, the longtime Laker assistant and then he was with Phil uh, Jackson at the, at the Bulls, and then I think he went back to LA again when it, when when Phil was a coach there. And just there's just you know whose whose career in basketball spans from like 1935 to today. Uh, so it's it's people like that 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 I'm always just amazed at when I walk through here. I'm like, oh man, I forgot about that guy. You know what a career he had, and what an impact he had. Or people like Wilt that. You know, it was just the most amazing player ever, and yet, you know, one afternoon helped me so much when I figure out my career. So it's, it's those kind of memories walking around here that um, you just go, wow, how cool is this? Hello, everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.